Hello, developers. Today we're taking a look at two real world software developer resumes. The first one is a person who is a coding bootcamp graduate. They also have a bachelor's degree in IIT. And the second person has a master's degree in software engineering, in addition to a bachelor's of science, bachelor's of science in computer science, and a cert in database management. Now, as we go over these resumes, keep in mind a few things. Number one, I did ask these two people to please obfuscate and otherwise self-censor when it came to personal info. So no, this guy's real name is not John Doe. And secondly, don't be a jerk in the comments. These two people were very brave to share the resumes with me and the world. So show them some love. And if you are in the industry, or maybe if you're not, you just have some good ideas, please share your feedback. Constructive criticism certainly welcome in the comment section because these people want to get a job and they want their resumes to be total fire. Let's go into the first resume, Mr. John Doe, a full stack web developer. And as we'll see down here, a coding bootcamp graduate. The narrative section, I'm just going to bump this up like this. The first impression I got of this resume is that it was very or well organized, very clean, and just a really nice, nicely designed. So good job on that. Really professional looking without looking too corporate. Like I like how you incorporated two different colors. They're not garish. They're easy on the eyes. The design is really easy on the eyes. The narrative software engineer with seven plus years of professional IT experience and an ability to deliver quality applications slash systems at an accelerated pace, experience with software development lifecycle and agile project management, passionate about solving challenging problems. So that sounded good. The one thing I noticed over here in this section, though, you have your socials, email, phone, location, LinkedIn, and GitHub. These are all pretty good. Keep in mind when you include location, and your phone number, because I, I say that because if you're applying out of town or out of state, a lot of times people will see your location and say, oh, they're in Alaska, this job's in Florida, they're not coming here, or I don't know, they're in Minnesota, they're not moving to Delaware, or something like that, or we're just looking for applicants in the city. Do not robo-send resumes or any application materials. What I mean by that, don't send off 100 and they're the exact same thing. You have to cater them to each location and each job offering, opening. I guess it's an offering too. Experience, junior dev from January 2020 to present day, business solutions company with an emphasis on user-friendly patient experience. And then these bullet points are what you're doing there and what you did there. Create intranet web pages using Vue and TypeScript to offload common production support tasks, develop responsive email templates, update, create business-wide store procedures via Microsoft SQL Surfer, Server. A lot of name dropping here, which is great for not just the people reading it, but also the ATS. For those of you not familiar with an ATS, please research ATS because those things can be a real killer. And in fact, I have a course how to get a job in web development and working on a module on ATS, how to, how to beat the ATSs. For example, if you're applying to a job that requires TypeScript, be sure to include the word TypeScript in your resume. So lots of name dropping there. Great. The one thing I did notice here that I really liked, I'm going to come back to the programming fellow thing, but litigation support analyst 2017 to 2019, business law firm with more than 190 specialized attorneys, you said increased review efficiency up to 80% using search and deduplication and relativ relativity e-discovery software for review and production. I absolutely loved that you referenced a, a number and what you did to improve the company with metrics. And it shows your employer that you worked at this place, you were solving problems, and you have analytics here. The only thing I would add to that is, aside from great job, is that when people who are looking at this and be like, oh, that is a good idea, be sure you're not making numbers up. Like you wanna be able to prove or explain how you increased efficiency by 80% or whatever percentage you increased it by. And there are ways to measure it. So you don't have to like just throw darts at a percentage board. So 
So this was a great stat to add. Going back up here to the 12 week full stack fellowship an intensive full stack software engineering fellowship accepting under 20% of applicants. Again, great job with the use of numbers here. 800 plus hours of learning and pair programming, just a little teeny tiny spelling and grammar, capitalization, punctuation, etc. I think Git probably in this circumstance should be capitalized. The other thing I noticed as far as just like nitpicking that you do have some, you have a period here after this sentence and then one here after this sentence. And also too, there were some, and this is just this is small stuff because this resume is really good. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The verb tenses. So in the litigation support analyst role, you increased. Where was it? And then in the programming fellow, you utilize. So I would say increase review efficiency because here you use utilize and then matching that tense up here, create, develop, update, utilize, and increase just to, just to keep that flowing. But going up here, this was the one thing. Software engineer with seven plus years of professional IT experience. So that to me wasn't a red flag. Like people have professional IT experience all the time, right? Well, going down here, I saw that your resume only went back to 2019. One solution I thought of was maybe like down here, just putting more employment history available upon request. I found myself like, okay, wait, what? It's 2017? It only goes back to 2017, but he says he has seven years. So like, where's, where's the rest of it? Other than that, I think this is a, a really great resume. You're doing everything. The big things are all there. By the way, if you guys are watching this and you're interested in learning more about creating a killer resume, check out my book, How to Get a Job in Web Development. As you can see, people freaking love this. These are actual reviews from people who bought the book, not some paid shills. Like, I don't know who these people are and they all love it because this book has helped hundreds of people get jobs. So check that book out on Amazon. It's also a course, How to Get a Job in Web Development on realtoughcandy.io. The biggest difference between the course and the book is that the course offers 24-7 student support. Going on to the second resume, we have first name, last name. So shout out to Mr. First Name, Last Name for this resume. And this person has the Master of Science with distinction in software engineering. So some pretty heavy degrees here. And this, honestly, I know some of these bigger fangs are saying, oh, we don't care if people have degrees. Listen, they still care. They're going to give preference to people. Other things equal, they're going to give preference to people with those degrees. So this is a very strong, I think the education portion of this resume in particular, let me just bump this up. The education portion of this resume is the strongest area. Now, one thing I noticed about this resume first, the, one of the earliest things I noticed was that it was kind of, kind of scant. Like I, I do enjoy, I appreciate the one page approach. Uh, but we do have a lot of room down here. We have like a maybe a quarter of a blank page here where you can be adding some keywords, adding some metrics, adding just a little bit more. I did find myself wanting to know more about you and about what you did particularly. So the profile says energetic software development professional with a strong engineering background, BSCS, MSSE, and proven experience in Java-based web development. And you start off with your experience down here. Technical consultant starting in 2018, implemented new functionality and fixed bugs for Java and PHP-based enterprise web applications, wrote, debugged, and optimized SQL, PL SQL queries, stored procedures, refactored, re-architected database schema, participated in code reviews, developed reports using Jaspersoft Studio. Honestly, like you have all the the facts here right like this resume is very factual i would like to see like we saw in the other resume some examples of how you made things better so you implemented the functionality but did you did you increase efficiency did you reduce a highly intensive process from a 30 step process to 25 steps how did these actions result in something better. That's what I want to know because at the end of the day, software development is just high tech problem solving. So you're kind of almost there. You just need that final step of what the result was based on your implementations and based on your refactoring and so on. Maybe putting the skills up top beneath the profile. You talk about Java, you talk about um, PHP and SQL, and then you get to the skills. 
So it's like, okay, I was introduced to some of your skills and now I get more of your skills. I'd rather have it just like right up front, like, okay, here's what I do. And then in the experience section, here's how I do it. Going down to the education, master science with distinction in software engineering. And then you have some honors here, graduated in 2021, your bachelor's of science, graduated 2018, and then certificate in database management. Again, this is all factual stuff, but I found myself wanting just a little bit more. Like you were in the honor society. What did you do there? And what was the result of you being there and doing things there? How did you solve problems? How did you make processes better? How did you make people's lives better? Any type of problem solving I would put in this resume because again, it's just that I want to see more proof of it. Maybe a link to your GitHub, a link to your portfolio and LinkedIn if you have it. I think the biggest thing you should be focusing on right now with this resume is sharing how your actions positively affected the project and the people you were consulting for. Uh, as far as, and then just like the ATS thing, if there's more stuff that you need to name drop, by all means, name drop it in here. Make sure those keywords are in this resume and, and anyone who's doing a resume, get those keywords in there. Thank you both for sharing these resumes. Again, I want to stress, if you're having some trouble yourself, check out how to get a job in web development, the book or the course, how to get a job in web development on realtoughcandy.io. Lots of hands-on activities and have helped so many developers make that final step. Other than that, let me hear your thoughts on these resumes, developers. What constructive criticism do you have or comments do you have? Let us know in the comments below. Let's help these developers get some jobs. As always, hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video.